Good evening, and welcome to our show. Everybody smiles in the same language about the many kinds of people who make up this great country, America. You may have noticed the different kinds of people in our city. You can tell right here at Burden, at the store, or even on your own street. And you can tell by all the different restaurants there are, like Italian, Mexican, ja Japanese, Chinese, Vietnamese, French, German, wow. We are all, um, these people are all American, just like you and me, but some of them may be new to this country. Some of them may not even speak our language very well yet. Do you know there are over 200 languages spoken on the earth? And I bet every one of them is spoken right here in this country. Yes, some may not speak English yet, but there is one thing that needs no translation. It happens to be our title of our show. Listen. How will we get along with all these different people? The best way to start is with the little groups, our own families. That's right. We have to live with our families and get along with them. And by helping out at home, we learn how to work together and to care and to be responsible. We learn how to take pride in the things we have and to have respect for them. Then comes bigger families like our school. And here at Burden, it can be a little harder to get along with so many others. Have you ever gotten angry at one of your friends here at school and said, I don't want to play with you, then later you didn't even know what you were angry about? Silly, isn't it? Doesn't this sound familiar? <laughs>
Getting along is not always easy. Friendship is a mystery too. It's funny how you really seem to like one person a lot. The words Charlotte Zillotto wrote say it so beautifully, they are from one of her most popular poems, People. I guess we're not always easy, Mrs. McVeigh always says. Children, sometimes you like talking and playing too much. Look at it now when it's time for science.
After getting along and working together in our family, school, and, and neighborhood, then we work together in our town and our country. Now all these different people make up America are coming together with all these different people in our country. One of the most important things that keeps us together is our language. It's wonderful to speak our ancestors' language as well as learn about their ideas and customs. You're right. I can speak Polish, Italian, and Hebrew. I can speak Arabic, French, and Spanish too. But here in America, we are all trying to speak English too. Take it a step further now, to the world. Did you know that there are over four billion people on the earth, and each one is different from all the others? So all these people come in all different sizes and shapes, and in many different colors. Our hair may be curly or straight, and our eyes may have a different shape or a different color. We may wear different clothes, eat different foods, and believe many different things. So you see, with all these different people, we have to learn to understand and respect each other. We need a little bit more of that thing called love.
So here we are, over 311 million people all living together in the United States. Wow, what a country. We hope you enjoyed the show. We sure have enjoyed performing for you. We hope you learned something too, like what we said about a smile. You may, th you may think it's not, it's not as important, but it is. Surprise people, smile at them. They'll like it, maybe even smile back. Be nice to people, that's a start, you know. Remember, we're a country of many people, and a smile says a lot without words. Please, join us in singing the words with a smile, the words in your program. Thank you for coming. We hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs>